Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to the video. Um, so today we're going to take a look at The Making of Alien by J.W. Rinsler. Um, one note on this book is there was a version of this that was released before this version. And this is like the loaded version. So if you're looking for it, you kind of want to make sure that you're getting um, this one. It's hardcover it wasn't actually very expensive i can't remember what i paid for it but it was it's pretty affordable all things considered and uh i'm a huge ridley scott fan i'm a huge alien fan and uh let's do this all right i'm gonna get the exacto out and pop this open give me one second um i'll do that off camera okay all right i've got the shrink wrap off all right i'm gonna remove the desk jacket so i don't trash it oh it's kind of cool it's got like a little bit of damage on the spine. I don't really care. This book is a tool. Let me, I'm just going to set the camera down for one second. Let me pull this off. Yeah, most of this stuff, when I buy it, I mean, I honestly, I get it as like, it's my book. I'm never going to flip it. And, uh, you know, I take really good care of my stuff. But um, I, for the price that I paid for this book, I don't really care. So this is a Giger, uh, um, like airbrush piece. These Ridley Scott is actually a really, really good artist. Um, so this could be a sketch by Ridley Scott. He actually storyboards his full movies out and does beautiful, beautiful um, storyboards. I and mean, they're, you know, he's got a real good eye for perspective. And uh, man, this book is going to be so cool. Uh, I think I, uh, well, I know for a fact that I, how I learned about this book was a YouTube video. It was either Alien Theory channel or mr h but one of them did like a brief review of it oh that's so kick-ass a great photo um and uh they i got the impression that maybe they were sponsored you know like the book was probably comp to them but uh past that it looks so awesome there was no way i wasn't going to get it so but you know you kind of have to be mindful of that like when you see people like reviewing stuff on youtube sometimes they are um, you know, they're getting it for free, so they're not going to talk shit about it. <laughs> but, uh, this book is awesome. It's, it just, it covers everything. It's got the design, it's got the art, it's got the story. Um, I mean, if you've ever seen any of the making of documentaries of this movie, it is actually really, really interesting. And, um... Like, their use of models and, and you know, real built costumes and stuff like that. It's all really, really interesting. One kind of cool thing that I actually just learned over the last couple of days is, so Dan O'Bannon did a student film when he was at UCLA, I, I believe, um, called Dark Star. And what's interesting is I've been really getting into John Carpenter movies. And I never realized that John Carpenter was actually associated with Dark Star. So that was kind of a really interesting little... Um, connection that was fun to discover as I was watching a bunch of John Carpenter um like documentaries and stuff like that I've been really really into movies like the last like couple of weeks it's been fun I, I generally don't watch movies um and uh oh man that's awesome uh, <laughs> yeah they, they had some early like drawings and stuff of the alien I mean that's not horrible that's you know Oh, this stuff is going to be all really, really cool to read. This is a book I would actually, like, read. You know, like, I would start at the beginning and kind of get into the whole thing. It would be fun. Um, something kind of immersive. We'll go a little fast. Oh, it's funny. Face hugger. Oh, yeah, this is what I had seen. Like, those are pretty, like, not cool. <laughs> this isn't a bad little drawing, though, but, yeah, that's kind of goofy right here. Meow, meow, meow. But Dark Star was actually a little bit of a satire. I've never seen it. I actually, I actually do want to see it. I'm hunting down some early John Carpenter things. I've got, I've got some stuff going on. Things are going really, really good. I can't actually talk about a lot of the stuff that I'm working on right now, but, um, yeah, like I've got some really, really killer shit that I'm doing. So, um, it sucks. I can't show more of it, but it's just one of those things where I can't, <laughs> so it's like, I can't, I, it, it's like when it's so much off the table that you can show it, you just, it's like, you kind of just deal with it and it's not a big deal. Cause it's like, it's not a possibility. All right, so we'll go a little fast through some of this stuff. Um, oh man, that's really cool. Love these kind of drawings. 
They're really effective. So let me see something really quick. Um, right. Peter Beale, Commission Elliot Scott. Did you know 27? So these are Elliot Scott sketches. They're nice. I like these in particular quite a bit. Oh, man. How cool. I've never seen these. Wow, that's pretty pretty creepy. And then Giger added the freaking super creepy. <laughs> And this book is huge. We're 44 pages into it. This book is, I don't even know, 300 and some odd pages, I think. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Yeah, probably 350 pages, so it's big. I actually grabbed, like, four or five new books. Um, so I've got some pretty interesting stuff coming for the channel. I will say hello to all my Patreon peeps. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll plug Patreon really, really fast. So, so I'm doing a thing right now. It's a month of penciling stuff um, for Patreon, and uh, I've been uploading about five videos a week for it. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's really good. If you sign up to my Patreon now, there's probably over 200 videos up, um, and uh, it's really kind of where I focus most of my video um, efforts because I have a lot of patrons now. And uh, I know that I can even build it up more, and uh, I just like it. It's 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 direct, it's focused, and um, it's going well. But yeah, so if you're interested in learning to pencil, I'm going through everything right now. I mean, literally from the bottom up. So it's it's a good time to hop on and check it out. I'll have a link in the description. But all right, let's get back to the book. Man, that's great. Oh, so there's Dan O'Bannon, Ron Cobb, and Chris Foss. Oh man, these are cool. They're really colorful. <laughs> that's that's actually a pretty cool design though. I, I kinda like it. Oh man, there's so much art in this book. That's great. He didn't the 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 flip through that I saw, I didn't see any of this stuff. I had no idea this was in here. This is great though. Gonna try to keep this video at about 15 minutes because I actually do need to shoot a Patreon video and then I need to get to work on my stuff. So I'll get back to that. Oh, that's really cool. Some more script. That's cool. I like that they have the script in it. It's fun. It's always interesting to read and, and uh, if it's maybe an early version of the script. Oh man, that's great too. Wow. All right, the sun's starting to come in and bring me down. I freaking hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Oh, this book is so awesome. It's so huge. Oh, so let's see. Are these... Yeah, so these are... These are Ridley Scott storyboards. Look at this stuff. This guy is legit. I'm telling you. If you've never seen his storyboards... He, he's he's clearly very influenced by Mobius. Um, but, I mean, these are nice little drawings. They're great storyboards. I skipped ahead a few pages just to get to some more stuff, but I mean, these are really, really nice. I mean, it's like, for for people that are intimidated to draw, don't be, because you'll have natural strengths within your stuff, and um, sitting down and just trying stuff like this, you'd be surprised what you can actually do well, and then what you can refine. Um, you don't know when you're not drawing. You can assume whatever you want, but it's you're giving yourself misinformation, because... I know even for me, there's things that I think will be hard that will be easy, and that I know way better than I think, and then, um, you know, sometimes you get hung up on something that you actually know, but maybe you're trying to pull something better out of yourself. It's an interesting thing, but yeah, and just sit down and try to storyboard out something, you know? Oh, man, these are great. Look at that. <laughs> That guy's really, really fucking talented. Oh, man. That is so awesome. It's a lot of detail, you know? I'll have to look at these closer later to see if, if it looks like there's pencil. I'd be interesting if he just uh, went in with marker and drew them. I mean, it's possible. Man, I've never seen this many of his storyboards. They're really, really cool. Look at that. Go, Ridley. It's a birthday. <laughs> I 
Dude. These are honestly some of the best storyboards I've ever seen. I'm bad to the bone. It's pretty interesting. So I've been collecting a lot of the alien toys and um I never even really noticed that the three um, compression suits that, that Lambert, Dallas, and Kane wear are different colors. And one is blue, one is like a very light red, almost pink color, and one is yellow. And uh, when you're aware of it and you actually see it in the movie, it's kind of interesting. Because <laughs> it's like, well, like, uh, Dal yeah, Dallas's suit is like almost pink. But the, the scenes are lit so creepily, it's uh, it's difficult to tell. This is funny. This is so over-designed for Alien. <laughs> it's like way too slick and pretty. This is more, more like it. Classic. But yeah, you can always learn more. That's the greatest thing about art and being a creative person is it's like, man... If you're into learning, which, like, I love to learn. It's probably my favorite thing. If, if I had two lifetimes, I would spend one lifetime just learning and the other doing. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, with art, you can always add more stuff and refine things. It's, it makes it so fun. There's always a challenge. But you have to have that kind of mindset, though. Some people definitely tap out, and some people tap out early. It's funny, man. They, they peak like three years into their like professional career and never really like seem to have like the drive to like um really really go to like another level i don't know it's kind of weird but i guess different strokes if everyone was like that driven then i guess uh you'd have more mobiuses and atomos and people that are like lifers that continue to really do great work for you know 10, 20, 30, 40, even 50, 60 years, depending on uh, when they start. It's nice. Looks actually a little bit like Ridley Scott. It's funny. All right, so let's go forward a little bit. There's some... Okay, so yeah, let's do this with the crew. <laughs> I love him. Oh, sick bunny. So some really interesting, I think there's a fold-out of the Nostromo in here that's really, really cool. It's like a, um, almost like a drafting um, illustration of it. Love these set photos. It's going to be really fun to, like, check all, all that out. Oh, H stage. It's, like, famous. Look at that. It's really fun seeing um, some of the sets when they're not complete. Oh, yeah. So, like, here's Kane's suit. Kane wore the yellow one. He's the one that gets the face hugger stuck on his face. So, yeah. Oh, man, it's such a great design. If you've ever seen the making of Alien 3, it's pretty funny. At one point, they tried, like, a dog, like, an actual, like, I don't even know what it was, like, a whippet. And they put, like, armor on him. It's so funny. The test of the dog running around in this, like, dog alien, like, kind of armor suit. And it just looks so bad. It's so funny. It's, I love the hallways in here. So stark. Oh, man, the crew. There's Dallas. Go, Riddler. It's your birthday. Alright, let's keep going. More storyboards. Damn, I hooked it up with the storyboards. It's actually really cool. Tons of drawings. Alright, so let's get to. Oh, that's neat. I'm working on it. So we're 14 minutes. Draw and shoot. Oh, man. Look at that. Man, when they designed it, it just looks so good. I love these shots. Those, the helmets sitting there on top of the computers are just fucking great. Oh man, that's a killer, killer shot too. Ooh. Yep, those are pretty. Shot of the alien hands. 
It's interesting because that's an early version of the hand because later <clears throat> the fingers are actually together. It's the double finger thing. Oh, man. Some rewrites or like little additions to the script. Really. Oh, man, that's nice. So her suit's blue. You can kind of see it there. They're smoking. That's cool. Back when when actors were more edgy. That's cool. Giger paints nice things in secret. <laughs> Super funny. Oh man, it's awesome shot. There's a little. Little fucker. Oh. Let me do the whole scene. I'm trying to move fast because I want to get to just get an overview of what else is in the book. This is huge. We're we still have over 130 pages left. You can see, I'm telling you, this book is great. I got it, I think, on Amazon for 34 bucks. It's a steal. I'd buy it all day at that price. Oh man, it's so awesome. They did a nice job on it. Oh man, I've never seen that photo before. <laughs> okay. The horror. I said I'm nearly sure it's somewhere in there there's a fold out. Oh man, this is cool. Brett. <laughs> Some holy shit. Damn. That thing looks dangerous. That looks dangerous too. My arm is starting to get tired. Alright, I'm gonna start to wrap this up. So anyway, but yeah, you get an idea of this book. It's actually very, very nice. Um I would love for them to keep doing more and more of these movie making of movie books if they had good material like this for them. But I think some would would there probably wouldn't be as much uh, nice stuff. These photos are actually very very nice too. Um, I don't know if the the video shows it that well, but um, they they're nice reproductions of the photos. They're not like all pixely or look all kind of funky. Um, some books, you know, they like try to overcompensate and they don't really have great photos. Not the case here. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh, these models are so sick. It's sad too because sometimes with these models, they just basically broke them apart when they were done and then they would get pieced out for like other projects and stuff like that. So some of them didn't end up being intact. That's so cool. There's a guy on YouTube that has some replicas of, um, they're more Star Wars ships. Some logos, that's cool. These are neat. Um, but yeah, they're pretty impressive, but they're huge. Like, they're the size of, like, a dining room table. Um, but I've, I've yet to really see, like, a really good Nostromo kit. That's nice. Those are... Well, I don't know if that is in particular, but a lot of those are matte paintings. If you know it, you can kind of see it in the movie where they uh, are actually using art as the background. This is like the illustrated story. Oh, funny. Oh, Walter Simonson. How cool. Oh, this looks like a fold out. Oh, the pages. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up because we're going to think of the music. Exorcist, World of Warning, Alien Arrives. That's pretty cool. Alien. Alien. The alien is born. Oh, yes. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. All right, you all have a great day. Oh, these are cool. I've never seen those. Yeah, so if you're an Alien fan, I think this is a very, very solid pickup, and uh, the book is still affordable, so it's a good time to get it. All right, have a great day. Smash the like. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell. I never say that on my videos. I think it's like people are going to do it or not, but anyway, I'll throw it in. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye.